Alrighty. Wow. Let me take this in. Boy, howdy, you looking good. Woo uh, I, I don't know if y'all were aware, but it is uh, it's full circle Thursday. Yep. And uh, I have been entrusted with gathering support for a very cool and cosmic cause. Uh, I'd like to I'd like to run it by you. Is that all right? Okay, good. So uh, I love a backstory, an origin story. Uh, here's this one. In 1964, two epic launches occurred. The first Rolling Stones album. God, I love this windswept look. And Mariner 4, which was the first Mars flyby satellite. But here's the synchronistic part. Recently, NASA's first interplanetary West Coast launch to Mars was a resounding success. Kind of like the no filter tour. But um, while landing on the red planet surface, it, it displaced a rock that rolled a fair distance in view of its onboard cameras. And some scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, in a fit of fandom and clever association, they, they put forth, why don't we name it Rolling Stones Rock? So, Charlie, Ronnie, Keith, and Mick, they were in no way opposed to the notion, but in typical egalitarian fashion, suggested I assist in procuring 60,000 votes to make it official. So that's my mission. All those in favor of officially naming it Rolling Stones Rock, say aye. Good, I second the motion. Uh, can we move to close the vote with an exuberant cheer on three? I think it needs to be heard on Mars. Three, two, one. Hey, yo! All right, this, is, this was rad. Thank you for letting me be part of history. It's going to be a great show, as usual. But first, since the 70s, let's go to the tape. <laughs> 